Hi, I'm John, here to answer all of your copyright questions. And today's topic is copyright permissions. How do I get permission to use someone else's content in my video? If you want to include copyright protected material in your video, you'll generally need to get permission first. YouTube cannot grant you these rights, and we can't help you find the people who might be able to grant them to you. This is something that you'll have to research and handle on your own, or with the assistance of a lawyer. Be very careful when accepting purely verbal or handshake deals. And also note that when it comes to music, getting permission from an artist might not be enough. In some cases, artists hand over the rights to their labels, and they can't give permission even if they tell you that they can. They also might need permission from songwriters or permission for any samples that they've used in the recording. Though we can't help you directly, YouTube's audio library is a great way to find background music or sound effects that are free for you to use. Why was content that I purchased or recorded myself removed? Just because you purchase content doesn't mean that you own the rights to upload it to YouTube. Even if you give the copyright owner credit, posting videos that include content you purchased still might violate copyright law. For example, purchasing a movie from the Google Play Store doesn't give you the rights to use it in your video. Also, just because you recorded something yourself does not always mean that you own all of the rights to upload it to YouTube. If what you recorded includes someone else's copyrighted content, whether it's live concert footage or doing a cover of a song that somebody else wrote, you would still need to get permission from the appropriate copyright owners. Why was my video removed or blocked while other similar videos get to stay up? When a copyright owner reaches out to us about a video that infringes on their copyright, we respond quickly to comply with copyright law. If there are other videos on YouTube that look similar to the one that we removed, we're either not aware of it or we don't have reason to believe that they're infringing. Sometimes a copyright owner authorizes some of their works to appear on our site, but not all. And other times, similar videos are owned by different copyright owners and while one may grant us permission, the other one does not. Why doesn't YouTube remove this video that is clearly infringing copyright? For us to remove content from YouTube, we have to be contacted by the copyright owner or an authorized representative. This whole process is dictated by the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, which is also known as the DMCA. YouTube also has Content ID, which is an automated copyright management system. It exists in parallel to the copyright takedown process and allows copyright owners to manage their content at scale on YouTube. Videos that are uploaded to YouTube are scanned against a database of files that have been submitted to us by those copyright owners who have access to Content ID. Copyright owners get to decide what happens when content in a video matches a reference file that they've provided. They can either choose to block, monetize, or track the video, which means that even if a video contains copyrighted material, it still might stay live on YouTube because it's already been claimed by the copyright owner through Content ID. And that's it for copyright permissions. Check out more info in our help center linked in the description below. Make sure to check out the other videos in our copyright series linked here. Bye.